From the moment fire was discovered, the men who could control it shaped civilizations. Those skilled enough to use this power to forge metals were dubbed blacksmiths. And while technology has advanced, the need for men to be able to control flame and steel remains. These are those men. These are modern day blacksmiths. So I get a call from a miss something or another. She says she has a project she can't find anybody to do for her. Over the phone, I try to get more details. She wouldn't give them to me. I heard that you guys can make some really cool stuff out of metal. And I have something that I need made. And it's probably something you've never heard of or never made before. And uh, I seriously doubt that. We've probably made everything. Really? Mm -hmm. OK, well, I'm looking for a bondage device. Except that. A bondage device? Bondage device, like, is in like, like. I'm a dominatrix. You gotta be me. It's always a little awkward trying to explain to people what I do. I hope I don't throw them off too much, and they're, they're open to the idea. Draw out kind of an idea. Okay, well, some things that I've thinking. seen are, you know, it's kind of like an X, and then, you know, there could be like a platform where the guy could stand, or there could be like cuffs down here. But there needs to definitely Can we be change something. Guy to girl? It, it could be a girl. It needs to be like tall enough that, you know, a guy like, you know, 6'4", but, you know, maybe... Well, how tall are you? I'm 6'3". Okay. Six so we three. can build it off of him and me, so it's like the, yeah. the best so we can go in between. That would be great. The short one seems really nice, but the tall guy, he was a little weird. I can't wait to see Ryan in this thing. It sounded weird, didn't it? Right. What, what kind of budget? Well, I, I would like to kind of stay around like 2000. I don't really want to go too much further over that, but how soon are, how soon are you meaning? Well, I, I mean, I would, I would like to have it maybe like a week tops. She wants this done in a week. Usually it takes us a month to do something like this. I are you really thinking a... like, like a theme wise, I, I'm, I'm already starting to think dungeon. of design. Think dungeon, think, okay. you know, I've, I've taken someone down into a dark, like creepy basement. Chain and Chains old and old and old and steel. And yeah, and yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of med medieval. A custom steel medieval bondage device. The real torture is gonna be us getting this done by the weekend. What type of work does a dominatrix do? Like, what are you gonna be doing on this thing? Cause I gotta think structurally. Okay. Um, well, I, I spank people, I kick them in their you know, private area, I, I do nipple torture, um, I, I do- People pay you for this People pay me for this, yes, they do. After racking their brains, the two parties agreed on the price of $2,000 for the custom bondage device. The price is a little steep and I didn't give them very much time, but I really need them to come through this week. That price is more than we'd normally charge. But you want a sex torture rack quick, you're gonna pay. This has gotta be the most absurd thing we've done in a long time. So that's gonna take a lot of careful planning. The thing we have to think about is at this point, how tall do we want this? Do we wanna base it off what size person? Or do we have something that makes it adjustable? Well, like we can kinda- A hook. stand or something for someone like you. You could like a step stool. <laughs> Maybe an extension mm, line. Get a ball gag for you at the top. Hang it down like this, like a lollipop. <laughs> Put your teeth right there. Probably be good that it's wood too, so you can see it's the It's amazing that you, that you already knew something like that needed to exist. Oh, I saw it on the internet. Everything on the internet's true. We gotta figure out where we want. I'm not landing a plane here. I'm trying to <laughs> direct <laughs> explain this to you. Now that we have the design in our head, we just got to figure out how this damn thing is going to work. Assume the position. Well, I'm not going to be comfortable no matter how we do this. <laughs> but, well, I think that's, heck, it's, I don't think it's supposed to be a comfort position. So if your hands are there. Well, you got to be my wrist. Because you're not going to get nailed through the hand here. You're well, going I know, but I'm just, putting, I'm just putting this as kind of a, right. we can't now, do, you do anything it. specific Let's see where right you're now at, anyway. Then. See, now that follows that Drop the chalk, it, dumbass. Let me get it. Yeah! <laughs> I think I've got an idea. All the research I've done, the hours upon hours of private research, 
private. Shows me that they're right. perfect. So show me your so research. So here is my suggestion. We line up this center might... of my body right at the pivot point. And now, <laughs> whatever is most comfortable. Some. Right there. Boom. Mark it. I don't have anything to mark. Oh yeah, I do. Oh jeez. <laughs> I had to mark it. Just let me do it. All right. I thought this was my project. It is now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll set the angle. Don is not the most graceful when it comes to starting up the equipment, which is something I like to point out as often as I can. It won't take the right angle. Poor musician that blames the instrument, Don. Poor dumbass that speaks out of turn. I could have chewed through it before you got this thing cut. I tried not to come in at all on Saturdays, but Ryan gave me a call this morning and told me I needed to get in here to see something. Ryan! Hey! I'm here! Hey, Don! Outside! Hello. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Are you kidding me? From time to time, we have people walk in off the street to talk to us about projects. Apparently, these people have never heard of the phone. Hello? Hi. How you doing? Hey, I'm Todd. Ryan. Ryan, pleasure to meet you. Can I help you? Uh, well, I um, got this little thing I want to do for my son. I really don't know what I want, but he's a... Um, He's really into Transformers. This guy needs a birthday present for his son. He has no idea what he wants, but he knows he needs something. He got, he has everything, but he likes statuey things. He's about okay. 11. So he's, he plays with things, but he, he wants something kind of unique. Okay, you know, metal? Sure, I want something Bronze. safe. I mean, yeah. is this place safe? I, not really. <laughs> no. You're not exactly wearing the right shoes Should either, I have so. a helmet on or? No, he doesn't. I want to have a toes covered, but you know. Okay. You said Transformers? He stuff? likes Transformers is his big thing. I don't know him. I think there's one called Optimum Prime or something like that. Uh, Optimus. I don't know that's... Optimus. Optimum? Sure. Optimum. That's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably it. What about a life-size head? Well, the bigger, the better. I mean, yeah. the easier Not something for us to wear. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. So we get asked to make a lot of things around here. This one sounds pretty freaking cool. The one thing that we should probably do is kind of get an idea of what you want to spend. Okay. Because if you want to spend, our shop rates are anywhere from 75 to $100 an hour when it comes to sculptures. Okay. So if we spend a week on it, you know, you're up to like $10,000. Well, I haven't run it by his mom yet, but you know, 500 bucks. I mean, that's, that's a lot for a birthday, but. Well, I mean, if you really think about it, it's really not that much. Okay. I mean, if, if you figure at our $75 an hour, you're going to have at least a day in it, that's $800. Okay. Right. So if you were a kid and you, whatever you're thinking of, mm -hmm. would you be pretty stoked about it? I'm, a, I'm an adult and I am stoked about it. With some convincing, Ryan was able to transform the price of Optimus Prime into $1,500. So I just met Don and Ryan and uh, I guess they're going to help me out. They didn't know much um, other than it's going to cost me about 1500 bucks. All right, Don, I got the last of the... Don. Idiot. I'll do it, don't worry about it, I got it. The next step on this bondage device is to hand hammer out all the rivets, that way we can make it height adjustable for anyone, even someone Ryan's size. All right, so when these are done, I'm gonna hammer and you hold. I wanna hammer. No, I just said I was gonna hammer, so. Skill challenge. All right. Don and I don't always see eye to eye. We get tired of arguing, so we came up with a skills challenge. Plus, it's a lot more fun. A skills challenge can be anything, but usually we keep it to something pretty manly. All right, what do you got? All right, with your stupid little bike. Don't you ever call it stupid. <laughs> fastest lap around the table, from that corner around back to that corner, fastest lap. Key to this bad boy, just want to have your weight kind of forward, but when you fall on your ass, try Shut not to break. I, it's riding a bike, I don't need a tutorial. All right, you're an idiot. how the saying goes, just like riding a bike. For this skills challenge, I'm gonna need a little practice. That ought to do it. Go! Nice. Whoa! Nice! <laughs> Stop! 
12.5. <laughs> I totally killed that. It was the practice. So Don came in just under a shy of a decade. Pretty sure I got this one. Go! Holy sh! Suck it! Oh sh! <laughs> what I get? That's what you get. What? Eight two. Hammer b. We're attaching the frame of the bondage device. This is the core of the entire project. It has to be done perfect or the whole thing could come apart. Hey, I made this, Ryan. That'll keep us lined up perfectly. Oh, did you make that all by yourself? I did. Are you gonna weld right. it or yeah, I'll am I gonna weld it? Well, we want them to hold, right? So I better do it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna weld the thing to it. Hey, am I? Maybe I oversized it so I could fit in there. Maybe you should weld this one on before you take it all apart. That's why it's tacked, dip shit. Well, you can tack it over here. Oh, yeah. With the sex torture rack cooling in the back, we need to spend time on the kid's birthday present. You remember Gen Con? Oh, yeah. We did that, that show. Well, Little ladies fest. Uh, yeah, they were definitely some chick magnets there. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, so anyways, I have the Boba Fett that I made for that. So we're gonna kind of take like, Different car parts, I figured since um, Transformers were cars, that we take actual car parts. I don't know what part this is. So we could is. rip apart your car? I was thinking about, I kind of I kind of feel like a bounty hunter, don't I? Kind of look like a dip <laughs> He's totally jealous. This is the drawing, my drawing. Did you know? I'm impressed, this? it actually huh? looks huh? That's like why, Optimus Prime. That's actually why I went to school. Usually it looks like a camel trying to hump a kite. Well, I didn't do it with crowns like you do. See how nice and sharp those edges? They're not sharp, that they'll cut you, but sharp. Clean. You're an idiot, you can't even <laughs> talk. See how sharp that is? I'm just gonna run my hand over it. But what I like about this one is just, it's more angular, where that one seems softer, more plasticky. What, that. The, hell, what the hell did you do to your shirt? This is my good going to sh court shirt. <laughs> looks like you chew on it. Sometimes my clothes can look lived in. Let's, uh, Get some metal cut up. Hey, this is your cat to f I'm just holding the tail. That's what I gotta deal with. <laughs> Stupid ass comments like, I don't even know what the f I was doing. So we're building a transformer head from the inside out. We need to make a stockpile of various shapes so we can put it together like a jigsaw puzzle. A large, complex, three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. We're gonna cut a lot of circles, triangles, squares. So just kind of basic just shape. Make like, make like a stockpile of Here's the, uh, here's a chalk for you to draw on. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah. The plasma cutter we're gonna use can cause huge sparks to fly up. It's important that you wear your protective gear. You're gonna cut right now? Yeah, I'm ready to go. You're not gonna wear your leathers? I wore them yesterday. Besides, if I don't screw up, I don't need them. You're gonna catch yourself on fire, you dumbass. Yeah, well. What the hell does your wife say? Here. What the hell does your wife say when you go home? How else am I gonna get new clothes? If I don't tear these up, I'll never get anything new. To me, Chief's not enough engines. I'm your engine, so you just tell me what you want. Okay, I want you to cut this. Is that good enough? All right. No, here, I'll do two of them. That way you can make a set of chalk. earrings for your just wife. Take the chalk and just draw some stuff. Okay. Say like pieces like this. Something like that that yeah. kind of forms the, the head. What about? You have underwear on? Yeah. I'm wearing them all week. Yeah, so see, you can weld them up like this. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut it with superheated plasma gas. It's hot. So I wanted to stop by. My son's birthday is in a couple days and um, just seeing what the progress is like and uh, looking forward to seeing it. I'm, uh, I don't know what to expect, really. So we, we got him right back here. He's about 95% done. Cool. Um, yeah, just a little, wow. he's got a little bit of finishing on, just a couple of finishing touches. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, it came out a lot better than I thought. I had, I had no idea you could do that. Yeah, there was a lot of work. I mean, each one of these pieces is an individually hand-cut piece that's then fit into place welded 
all the welds are ground off so you can't see any, so you have no idea how it's really made. So I was looking at some pictures with my son online mm -hmm. of Optimum. It's Optimus, Optimus Prime. And he really likes the eyes and so they're gonna light up, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So the head looks really cool. Um, I, I didn't even imagine something that neat and uh, apparently they can make the eyes light up and uh, my son's gonna love it. It's gonna be pretty cool. As a firefighter, I'm always gone a couple of days. I never know what to expect when I come back. What's up? Hey, your uh, client came in with the uh, Optimus Prime head, took a look at it. Right. What he, time uh, did he, when did he do this? Uh, just a, while you're at the firehouse. Said he liked it. Uh, the only thing he was concerned about was how long it was going to take to put the lights in it to make sure we still have it for the... Lights? In the eyes. What lights in the eyes? Apparently there's lights. You didn't tell him we were going to do it. Well, yeah. I told him it'd take probably a couple days. He's paying I extra, right? I don't, I thought you guys already agreed to it. You f***ing agree to shit. I thought you guys oh. already did. It's, this is what happens when I'm going to the firehouse when people stop by. Well, that's not my fault. Well, I don't even, how the f*** are we going to even do it? What kind of lights? Like f***ing. I don't know. I thought you guys had, I, I assumed you guys bulbs? already had, so I told him we'd do it. Don told our client that we can make the eyes light up. He's already put together. There's no question we can do it. I just don't think we can do it in time. You couldn't it's, come in from the side and just mount all, something it's behind It's all welded there. up. That's, that's the thing is, it's all welded up. Mm -hmm. We gotta do something of coming up through the bottom or drilling a hole through the, I mean, it's gotta be like an inch hole bottom. Well, it's your project, you'll figure it out. Well, you're the dumbass that told me the eyes were gonna light up. Well, I thought you guys already agreed to that though. Yeah, well, you're an idiot. Well, in fairness to me, I didn't pay attention to much of what he said while he was here, so. Yeah. Somehow you're gonna figure it out. I don't think I should have to do it. Well, you're gonna do it. I think you're gonna do it. Skills challenge. I call this Bunker Hill. You gotta grab this flag, which is right here. Start off behind the gravel mound, up over, and however you can get this flag in your hand, getting shot the least. All right. And it looks like you're up first. Jesus Christ! Ow! <laughs> Don moves with the agility of an armadillo. Ugh, that sucked. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now it's Ryan's turn, which is unfair because he's so tiny. that at least two. Two? Are you that, your mind? Look, there's one right, look, you can see clear, hit, hit. It looks like a splatter to me. Spat, okay, there's okay, no okay, way so you got splatter from two, it hitting you. If it's two, how many is that total? One, That's two, three, four, to five. five. F you, do the eyes. Todd's coming by to pick up the Optimus Prime head. It's always fun to see the client's reaction when we reveal the final product. I love the big reveal. I'm pretty good at it. Just under a week. There you go. Oh, wow. Well, what about the eyes? Wow, what a cool piece these guys did for my son. I had no idea what, what I wanted to get him, and these guys came up with this great uh, optimum guy and with the lights in his eyes, and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't thank him enough. I just wish it didn't cost 1500 bucks. Now 1500 includes both of you carrying it out to the car, right? All right, you got it? I got it. All right, we'll see ya. So I'm here today to pick up my custom bondage device and I am super excited. I hope the guys did a good job. 
Hey boys, I'm back. We got it done in the nick of time, a lot of hours. Ready, Don? Amy, I hope this spanks a thousand asses for you. Wow. <laughs> King of the big reveal. We use an oxygen acetylene torch to burn the pine, give it that aged, smoked look. With the steel, we put it in the forge and burn the mill scale off. Chain, we want it to be adjustable, best product for it. And put that in the forge to give it an aged look as well. How, how this works is this and this become adjustable so you can take the cups down for shorter people like myself. Okay. And then it also, you can tie people's feet down, comes off there. The best part, and we didn't talk about it, but we thought it was something that you could actually use, would be from this position, you pull these off. Okay. Now it folds over. You put Are these you little serious? stands in there. Everyone needs to be, you know, bent over and spanked. Yes. You know, after the show, absolutely it's set up here. Right. did, did a lot of research. Through. Yeah, I, I brought some props. You know, so it looks really great. My clients are gonna love it. I'm gonna have so much fun with this thing. It looks great. I think we need to try it out. Don was conveniently unavailable when Amy wanted to try out her bondage device. I stand by my work. You gonna try it out for me? <laughs> Actually, it kind of hurts. pay to have this done to them? The total cost of labor and materials for the bondage device came to $850, leaving Indy Art Forge with a profit of $1,150. The car parts and labor cost $1,000, which wasn't optimum for the guys, but they still managed a $500 profit. I did a little project while Ryan was at the firehouse. Even though the projects we did this week were pretty cool, I think this one will make him the most proud. Mm -hmm.